Just about anywhere you go, you can find an electric motor at work. When we run electricity through a coil of wire, we get magnetism. It's an electromagnetic thing of beauty. These little cars have electric motors. In the middle is a piece wrapped with coils of wire that can spin. When we run electricity through the coils of wire, the motor spins. And uh, off we go. Uh, excuse me, Bill? Huh? Oh. <laughs> the motors in the EV drive are similar, except these are big electric motors that use alternating current. By controlling the electricity that flows into the coils of the transmission, we can create a rotating magnetic field. The rotating field makes the middle part of the motor spin. Now on top of that, we can reverse it. By driving the rotor, we can generate electricity in the coils of the stator. It's an electromagnetic thing of beauty. <laughs> Allison Electric Drives manage energy. When I push this little car this way, I'm putting energy into a spring. When I let go, we get the energy back. When we push the little car up the big hill, we're putting energy into the car. We give it a nudge, we get the energy back. Are you guys okay? Uh, yeah, they're, they're okay. This is an electric generator. When I turn this crank, I'll put energy into this energy storage device, this little capacitor. Ready? Now, when I connect the energy storage device to the electric motor in this little car, we get the energy back. We get the energy back. When you take your foot off the throttle, like when we go down this little hill, the Allison electric variable transmission converts some of the energy of the rolling vehicle into another form converts it to electricity and stores it in the battery. So we can get the energy back. You okay? They're okay. All kinds of things conduct electricity, like copper, steel, and aluminum. Electricity can even pass through you. And if it does, you can get hurt. The Allison EV drive has a lot of electrical power, so there's some basic safety rules to always follow. Tim, what's the first thing in safety? It's know your equipment, right? That's the most important thing. So the first thing you do is you become aware of your surroundings, and you say, is there something that's severely wrong that I shouldn't even be in here on, and that I'm not comfortable with? If you're not comfortable with it, if you don't know what you're doing, get out and get somebody who knows what they're doing. Check with a Good voltmeter. Now I know to go to this box right here that you got these two points that you put on your DVM with. And you can read that it's essentially at one millivolt or 0 .001 volts. So you know that the system is disconnected. The batteries are disconnected from the rest of the system internal to them. So you know it's safe to proceed. Assume it's hot. All the way to the end. I'm not going to touch this because I don't know what it is. But see that little slot? You can't get them wrong. I shouldn't be able to unless you're very aggressive. Oh, what a satisfying click. Did you hear that? You just make your day that little click. Before all of that is turn it off. Keys you in your, your key? pocket. Let me see the key. See. OK. Truck's off. Right Truck's now. off. Ha! There you go. Turn it off, know your equipment, check with a good voltmeter, and assume it's hot anyway. There you are. Done. So this is a battery pack from a truck. And you might think, it's electricity. It's dangerous. 
Well, let me tell you something. There's about 20 times as much energy in this diesel fuel tank as there is in this great big battery pack. But we're all used to handling diesel fuel. We all know not to start fires around it. So we just got to get used to handling the energy in a battery pack. Don't start electrical shorts around it, OK? Just, just be careful. It's all energy. Jeff, it does look pretty simple under there. It is, Bill. In fact, it can be just as easy as changing your fluids on time and your filters. This is a filter build just like in our WT, so those who are familiar with our WT line of products will be familiar with the electric type. It's pretty thing. simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our drive unit also, has, also uses fluid to cool it, so we have to check that level occasionally well, also. But it's a mechanical thing. So yes. you've got to check for leaks, yep. check your fluid levels, yep. change your filters, yep. and then on top of that, on top you of can that, run this diagnostic. We've thing. got a diagnostic tool to help us out, Bill. Let's see, we got fluids, we got filters, we got uh, inspection, just look at it, and then we got the diagnostic thing. Right? That's right. It's pretty simple, isn't it, though? Very simple, sir. Yes, Jeff. I should get one for my bus. <laughs> operating a hybrid bus is just like operating a regular bus. You turn the ignition on, you start the engine, and then it goes through a bunch of self-check features. You hear beeping, and the needles move, and the lights blink. It's really, really fun. <clears throat> uh, and then you, you want to go. So step on the brake, release the parking brake, and then put it in uh, D for going forward, or R for going in reverse. Oh, oh, one more thing. A hybrid has a lot more pep than a regular old vehicle. So you ready? Here we go. You OK? Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. If you'll excuse me, I've got some battery plate corrosion rates to assay. See ya! Okay, we're just gonna roll this one. Here we go. If this were on, you know, you'd go like this. You'd go like this, Brian. You'd go, you'd go like, like that. You'd, you'd probably only do it once. See what they're trying to do? They're, see, they're, they're, oh, they're right here. Oh, they're a little there. But they're not here, see? They're, they're yeah. trying to make me crazy. That's what it was. So just let me see if I understand this. We have a, a video crew with no food and no coffee. I just, don't, I just don't see how that's possible. I've never seen such a thing. I mean, I'm sure it's possible. I just didn't know. I'd never seen a crew run without food and coffee. I just, I, didn't, it never, I never thought of it. I just didn't know that we could have a hybrid drive till a few years ago.